Here's a really fast review of ArchiEd's Easy Template. The last video I did explaining it was nearly 30 minutes, so I thought I'd better do a really fast one just to explain. So what does the template include? Of course it includes layers, lines, all of these things are customized, pens, pen settings, in order to create a user experience where you have a lot more control over the way it's represented using both black pens and colored pens simultaneously with a wide range of uses. The intention of the detailing pens versus, so new pens, black and white versus detailing pens, black and white or colored, is that the detailing is twice as thick to make those lines thicker. A wide range of fills and surfaces, all customized for the Archied Easy Template. Building materials, which of course combine a lot of these elements together, and including the ID category, which means that we can now use labels in order to identify building materials, which of course relate to my material schedule as well, which will soon also be available via Archied. The template includes a wide range of complex profiles and composites as well, which are all customized in order to make the modeling process as easy as possible. Now the template also includes all of the navigator setup, project map, view map, layout book, and publisher set, of course, all working together in conjunction. And the intention is to have a lot of these elements already set up so that you can use them, have somewhere to put them, and all of the elevations and sections are already pre-existing because the way that I like to work is to have the lines and the elevation markers pre-set up, which means you don't need to re-dimension every time. You can actually just move some of those dimensions to make that a faster process. I like to link my dimensions to a line rather than to the model itself, which makes for easier identification. Another large component of a template is the model view options, graphic overrides, and renovation settings, as well as favorites. Now, having a look at the drawings which can be produced using this type of template. So this is first a sketch drawing, explaining the design process. So I use a combination of sketch settings, both based on a line type, and also in the model view option and graphic override. This is a DA stage. So we're looking at a, a development in the model and the complexity, but still keeping a presentation floor plan view. In this case, I'm using a colored elevation where the colors are supposed to represent the materials. Here we have shadow diagrams, combining the existing and proposed and the combination of what that looks like with the purple. A CC set, I've now switched to black and white for elevations. A tender documentation set, where I'm utilizing reds, and again the idea that those reds can very easily be turned off if necessary in order to make it all black and white. 2D detailing, using fills and lines for construction documentation, where we prioritize the use of linked labels in order to be able to explain more detailed annotation, detailed interior layouts, shop review drawings, and overlaid area calculations with a legend in order to explain what each of these mean. And finally, the 2D detailing, which can be switched very quickly from color to black and white. 